before we go any further, I am at the stage now where I am so aggravated, annoyed, furious and frustrated that it's extremely hard to be in a good mood at the moment. G'day everyone. Alright. Any Unix geek out there or open slash net slash FreeBSD Oracle out there who knows this stuff like the back of their hand I'm pitching this question at you. I can't get OpenBSD to act as DACP DNS local server. This is before I get Samba on it. I just want the damn thing to act as a DACP server and allow the SFF serial terminal to get out of the internet. I have done everything that all the links you, everyone has sent me, I've done. And it still does not work. If I statically assign the serial terminal directly to the firewall, I can get out. No problem. If I tell the serial terminal to automatically assign DNS and DACP, it picks it up from OpenBSD, but there's no internet. I can get everywhere else, there's no internet. But BSD can still get to the repositories. Well, commonly known as this is so frustrating. In a minute, we'll go out the workshop. I'll go through everything I've done. And can someone tell me what I've done wrong? I've even turned PF Firewall off. Now, in that scenario, packets should be able to fly wherever they want with no restriction. What am I doing wrong? Um, so, if I, if it's a misconfiguration somewhere, please tell me, or if I've gone about it in completely the wrong fashion again and turned it into a shambles, also, please tell me, because right at this point in time, I'm about ready to snap. All right, let's, uh, let's get out the workshop and have a look. Okay, so I'm out here setting it up again. As you can see here, I've set up a static IP. I've set up the host name. I've set up the gateway. I've set up the actual domain name. And then I've set up the DNS name server. Right? So, that's what I've done so far. Now, if that's wrong, let me know in, as soon as you can. Alright, I'll now go and install OpenBSD and come back. Alright, so here we are in my DACPD.conf configuration file. I've got it set to obviously its own address. There's the subnet and net mask values. That's the router. There's the range. And there's all that. Okay? No problem. Here's the the uh, my name file sitting in the ET, etc okay then if we go to my gate there's the gateway so I don't know what the problem is, because this is the stupid thing. If I go ping it'll ping. But if I go
it can't get out. Now let me show you something. There's it trying to ping Google, okay? But you'll see here that it, at no other stage has it tried to connect to the firewall and get out. So what am I doing wrong? If someone can tell me really quickly, it would be excellent. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers. Before I forget, sorry, I didn't mean, I forgot to show you this. We got details. Now here's the silly thing. You'll see there it's got an IPv4 subnet mask, default gateway, and then the server. Okay? So what the hell is going on? I really, really want some help fast on this, viewers. Anyone out there who knows this stuff, like the back of their hands, because I've forgotten it, can you please tell me? Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.